Melbourne has long branded itself as a sport, coffee and fashion capital. And now, after one of the world's longest lockdowns, it's cementing its position as a world leader in medical research. We've got all, ma all manner of exciting discoveries to make. Today, a $250 million gift for a medical research centre for future pandemics. Which has a very high purpose, to make the world a safer place. This is one of the most extraordinarily generous and visionary people that I've ever had the privilege to work with. Born in Canada, but now living in Melbourne, the former oil and gas executive Geoffrey Cumming made millions through business investments and has a history of medical philanthropy. My father was a doctor. He would be immensely proud of this initiative if he were alive. The centre will be established at the Doherty Institute, already a leader in pandemic research, and where scientists were the first outside of China to grow COVID in a lab in 2020. It will be led by the Institute's director, Professor Sharon Lewin. While most pandemic research funding has gone towards vaccines, this money will go towards developing treatments, including therapeutics that haven't been invented for viruses we haven't even heard of, to prepare us for the next big pandemic. Look at monkeypox. No one had monkeypox on their list of, of viruses of pandemic potential. And here we are with a new pandemic, essentially. The world needs additional protection beyond vaccines. We need a second shield. The state government will also contribute $75 million over a decade. Mahno Zanguri, ABC News, Melbourne.